Hello, and welcome to today's video on high altitude investing. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do paper trading on TradingView. So let's get right into this. All right, so first we start off by going to tradingview.com. This is where I do all of my charting. If you're new to TradingView, I'm working on a course for that. It will be out probably the beginning of 2018. So I'm excited for that. We've been working really hard on it, recording all the segments and editing them all for you guys so you can learn how to use TradingView for trading. But today what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do is paper trading specifically so that you can practice your entries before you use real money on any of these coins because once you start trading with real money the psychology is completely different. So um, that's what we're going to be going over today kind of talking about and let's get right into this. So first we want to pick a coin that we want to do this paper trading on. Paper trading is basically just making a prediction on a coin or a chart uh, without actually betting real money on it. Um, the reason that we do this is because once you have money on the line, it's actually harder to stay logical as a trader because there's an emotional attachment to that value involved. So what we're doing here is we're basically taking out that emotion and then we're learning how to find those entries before we have that emotional factor so that once we do have that um, emotional factor in place, uh, it won't control us as much. So kind of what we'll do here is we'll find a coin. Let's just start by typing in Stratus on the dollar. Okay, Strat. So I just type in up at the top of this and this is the ticker. Um, Strat, you can create an account on here too. It's it's free to get an account going. So um, Stratus dollar, I'll just go ahead and click on that chart. Now we look at the dollar charts. This is very important because uh, if you look at a Bitcoin to altcoin pair, then the chart is going to be really distorted by the value of Bitcoin. So when we're doing technical analysis, we always do the TA on the dollar charts. Um, even if we have to use the Bitcoin pair to actually buy into it, we still do the technicals on the dollar chart because that's where you get your accuracy in, in the technical analysis. So let's click on the interactive chart button here. This will bring up the trading view chart, which is basically an interactive interface where you can go ahead and zoom around, look at all of the prices on multiple time frames, whether it's daily candlesticks or zoomed in. Um, so it's basically a platform that allows you to look at the graphs of all of these coins. So let me just go ahead and remove all the drawing tools here and let's do a paper trade. Something, let's make a prediction and try to find an entry uh, based on that prediction. So first off, the really, really good bounce for the entries. I already posted this as a buy signal um, for my VIP members, but uh, the really good entry is passed uh, because I already posted that signal while we were in that really good entry zone, which was right here when we were falling back onto the 786 Fibonacci retracement. Now, if we're trying to look for an entry, we have to find another lower high. So when, when a coin is uptrending, it's making higher highs and higher lows, and you want to buy on one of those higher lows. In this case, this coin has been downtrending or on a downtrend um, since 06-04 of 2017 when it peaked, but it is looking like it could start a bigger bullish trend. So this could be a lower high in a bigger bullish trend. Uh, that's why we buy the 786 and the 618 retracements is because when they have these big market cycles where they go really high like this in parabolic, they always pull back all the way down to these levels. Um, so if we're paper trading this, then we need to find a spot to buy, right? So we look for trending support. So you want to find support areas first. Um, the first support would be that 786 where we posted the entry and where it bounced. And then the second resistance would be this downtrending resistance that we want to look at very carefully here where the price is rejected, rejected. So if I was to buy this coin, um, I would want to wait for, I'm already in on this coin like I said, but if I was to buy this again, or now, then you'd want to wait for a lower high. So you'd want it to break out of this descending resistance channel and fall on to support. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and go on the left hand side and grab a rectangle and draw a little box right here at the bottom of this Ichimoku cloud. Now this is a buy zone. When you're making a buy zone, you 
actually want to buy in that area and kind of don't use a stop loss initially and wait for it to bounce out of your buy zone then you can set your stop losses but since we're not actually using real money we're paper trading in this case um, we're just going to go ahead and drop draw an arrow of where we think the prices are going to go land and then bounce so in this case i think the prices will break resistance here in stratus because we've came all the way back down to that lowest support um, so that's where well start buying again is in these low points so i think stratus will break out so i'm just going to go ahead and draw an arrow up and out and then an arrow back into the buy zone and then an arrow bouncing out of the buy zone now i have successfully done technical analysis on this coin now i found a spot where i'm looking to enter i know where the previous resistance is up here where i can sell um, once the prices start to bounce off of my buy zone that i draw here and what i can do is i can publish this idea so i go here in the bottom right and i click, click on the publish idea um, and then I'm just going to type a little bit about it. Stratus, you can post these publicly or privately. Um, you have to have an account to actually post them. So I do recommend getting that TradingView account so you can be posting these charts. Um, but yeah, Stratus TA uh, buy, buy zone and then 11 slash 21 slash 17. There we go. And then I'm just going to describe a little bit about it. Um, fell onto the 786 FIB support. Watching for breakout and descending resistance. So the descending resistance, oops, resistance is that line that we drew um, that was going down on the chart. I'll point it out in just a second again. And then um, I'm just going to go ahead and type aim to buy in the zone given after breakout all right and then i can just go ahead and type in long category trend analysis chart patterns tags stratus btc crypto and then um, those tags are just so that other people that are also looking can find your charts and rate them and comment on them if you decide to post them publicly. So I'm going to go ahead and post this one publicly and just type in paper trade for YouTube video. And then I will go ahead and post this in the description as well so that you guys can come back and check on this chart and kind of see how my paper trade did because you can play these charts later when you make them that's the point of paper trading you can press play on them and then see how well your prediction did and i'll show you a few examples of previous predictions um, i've done and kind of what that looks like as a paper trade so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and post this make sure i say not taking trade just paper trade as example for YouTube. That way nobody on my trading view just goes ahead and um, buys this. Even though it would be a good area, I'm just letting them know that this is a paper trade and not like an actual signal for them. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and press the publish idea. You can make this a private idea by clicking on this lock on the bottom. Um, let's see, you can't really see that because of my webcam. Let me make this smaller and move this. So yeah, down here in the bottom, oops, down here in the bottom right of my screen, um, this publish idea, this publish public idea, you can click and make it private or public. Um, in this case, I'm just posting it publicly so that we can use that link in the video description. So post public idea, and then it will bring up this link and you can save this link and come back to it anytime and see how your chart did, see how your prediction did. Um, again, this is what you want to do. Uh, before you even put money on the line with cryptocurrency because this is kind of hard to learn and if you have that emotional factor where you want to make profits there's a lot that goes on to the psychology uh, and you'll make worse decisions unless you kind of get 
the hang of paper trading without real money first. So that's why I wanted to make this video is because it's super important to get that down. I know that a lot of beginners don't quite understand that it's better to start without betting real money so that you can get the concept down. But yeah, you can see here that it has my drawing, this play button right here. Anytime I can come back and press that play button and see how it did. You guys can too. This chart will be in the description. Um, like I said, we've already been in this coin since these low points when I posted the entry in the VIP area. Um, or we've been talking about this. so. But that's just an additional paper trade for you guys. I wanted to show you how you could find an entry on something. And let's go ahead and click on my charts here and look at a couple examples of some trades that I've already done on here and kind of what it looks like when you come back and press that play button. So here's a great example. Uh, this is Zcoin. XZC. Uh, I posted this chart on my trading view November 6. When I posted this chart, the prices were $14.92, and that was on November 6. And I said, hey, Z coin is setting up for $30 in an ascending triangle, and it's got a healthy trend line. And, you know, then I, you can press play right here, and you can see that that chart played out very nicely. There you go. So that's after the fact, this little green area. It's going to be green if you're right, and it's going to be red if you're wrong on your prediction. Um, but it just allows you to kind of look here, zoom in on the chart, and look around and see what your prediction was. Um, as you can see from this point on is where the prediction started. So um, that's kind of really neat that you can do that. You can also update those ideas by coming down here and pressing update idea. And then you can type a little bit about it and then you can grab your chart. Down on the bottom right, you can click on the snapshot, take snapshot of your chart, and that will just take a screenshot of the chart so that you can copy this link and post updates on these as well. So yeah, you can update these charts by clicking on the update ID and dropping those links. And that's pretty much everything I wanted to go over about paper trading today. Uh, super useful, I recommend that you guys get into it and actually, um, practice doing this on trading view and get the hang of it because if you want to become a successful cryptocurrency trader the hardest part initially is usually getting over the emotional factor because of the money involved and the easiest way to do that is paper trading so um, that's kind of why i made this video today thank you so much for watching today's video i hope that you learned something if you have any questions go ahead and let me know in that comments box below and i will catch you guys in the next one hit that like button that subscribe button and as always stay profitable